All right, welcome everyone to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create a portal that essentially transports our player from one destination to another. Now, we're not going to be doing a portal to edition where you can see through the portal. That would be a whole other video. This one is just to focus on transporting our player between two positions. Now, how do we do this? Well, first we need an area 3D. The reason we need this is because we need a collision box or something that actually tells us whether or not our player has collided with this. Now, just to show you what I have so far, I have added my portal 3D, my area 3D, and renamed it to portal. I'm going to add a collision shape here, maybe the shape of a sphere. And we'll move this like so. And we can move this to the left here. And we'll even give this a mesh, make it look a little better. Or actually have something. We'll give this a sphere as well and we can zoom in here and just expand these a little bit. Expand this little sphere like so. so. This is our portal and then we should probably expand our portal as well. This and let's reverse this like that. And there you go. There's our area 3D. It is now the size of the mesh. Maybe we can expand it a little bit more just to make sure it's good. And there we go. The area 3D circles the mesh. Uh, you can adjust the portal or the collision itself a little later, but that doesn't really matter right now. For now, this is going to work fine. All right. Now what we need is a player. So this is our player. It is a simple character body 3D where the script is a template of the character body 3D. You can just create it and that's it. The mesh instance here is the floor. And I also have a grid map for the actual, uh, for another video actually, so we don't need that. And then world environment. And that's pretty much it. Now, one other thing I'm going to do is rename this to player. Okay, hey guys, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Brilliant. If you love expanding your skills and want to learn something new, Brilliant is the place to be. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform that offers thousands of hands-on lessons in topics like math, data science, programming, and AI. What I love about Brilliant is that they, uh, is, it's all about active learning. Now, active learning is something that I usually promote. You get to actually solve problems. That's essentially what it is. It's not just reading or writing, as a lot of us don't always learn that way. One thing that sets Brilliant apart is their focus on first principle learning. Each lesson is crafted to help you understand the concepts from the ground up, and then you get to experiment with them. It's six times more effective than just watching lectures, uh, which is a lot more fun as well. Plus, Brilliant makes it more convenient. You get to learn on the go, right on your phone as well. Whether you have just five minutes to spare or you're ready to dive deeper into something new, Brilliant has got you covered. I've been spending some time on their programming courses lately, and it's been pretty amazing. You can start writing code from day one and actually get to learn things and learn to think like a programmer. Whether you're new to coding or already have experience, there's a ton to explore. Brilliant is giving you a chance to try their platform for free for 30 days. Just head over to brilliant.org slash codingquest or click the link down below in the description. If you, does, if you decide to keep going, you'll also get 20% off on their annual premium subscription. Please check it out and start building your skills today to player. Okay, now here's the question is I have this portal. And if I were to duplicate this, and actually move this over here. Now I have two portals. But the question is, how do I connect these portals and actually get them to move from one portal to another? First, we need a script. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make this non built in, we'll create this script. And what we can do is we can actually create an on uh, an export variable, connecting portal. And we can make this uh, a area 3D. And what is, what is this? What is this going to do? Well, essentially, this will allow us to take our first portal and connect it to another portal. Now I can assign that other portal to this one. So here we go. We've assigned this exported variable to this portal too. Now, we'll kind of go into this a little bit more. But first, we need to actually make this work. OK, so our portal has a script. And it's an area 3D. And if we look at the nodes, we can look at the signals and look that there is a signal called body entered. 
this body entered is perfect because our player is a body. So it can detect when the player enters the portal area. So we'll connect that signal to the portal script by hitting connect. Now in here, we can check to see if the body dot name is equal to player to make sure that the body that just entered this area is the player. But sometimes you might have monsters or other bodies that might enter this portal, and we don't want to do anything if that's the case. We only want to do something if the player enters the area. Now, if it does, what we can do is we can get the destination position, which is a vector three, by taking our connect portal dot global. Let's pop out the script here so I can see everything. And so can you should be able to say transform dot origin. And now what we can do is we can say body dot global transform dot origin is equal to the destination. And that's it. Now we might want to offset this. So but let's take a look at what we have so far. So let's hit play here and see if it works. All right, you can see that it does work. So if I connect to this portal, you can see I move to this one. Now, what's the problem here? Well, the problem is that one, this is not reusable. And two, if I were to attach the script here to this uh, script, sorry, this script to this uh, portal too, and make it so that you can go back and forth, you can imagine that when I go here and teleport here, I would immediately immediately trigger this signal in this portal and then go back to this portal and then from this portal back to this portal and then i'd just be jumping back and forth infinitely so to make this a little better i'm going to actually leave this out of the video and i'm going to get you to try this out i want you to try adding to this position and see if you can offset the player so that it's not inside the portal itself because right now it's spawning in the center of that portal but i want you to spawn it a little bit in front of it but give that a try and see if you can do it. If you can't, uh, definitely ask my Discord for help. You can check out my Discord down below. Um, definitely check out my uh, other links down below as well. I have a uh, email list down below of the first link uh, in the description where you can join this weekly challenge. This video was a part of that weekly challenge in order to do this. Uh, it was a lot of fun doing this for almost a year. I took a little break, but now we're back. Hopefully. You guys will enjoy these and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye for now.